Hey everybody, checking in uh, with a Snatch Block 101 video here. I uh, lost my clip off my mic, so I'm going to be doing the news reporter thing today. But anyways, I got a few logs over here that I'm going to use a Snatch Block setup uh, to pull out. I'm not sure if I'm going to have any success because it's three big ones. Uh, I kind of looked on YouTube to see if anybody uh, had tried to do anything like this with a Snatch Block. And all this stuff I saw was people pulling small logs so um, I'm going to show you what the actual power of using a snatch block to log with uh, looks like. Uh, real quick I'll show you what my setup is. I got a it's anchored to the truck here to a block. This block right here just uh, lets me pull a different direction because you want to pull into your anchor point. Right there is my anchor point. And now I got my two different cables that run down here and I, I got tension on them right now just that the the cables uh, sit in the pulley grooves like I want them to uh, those pulleys that I'm using are 1250 pound pulleys that I bought from uh, I bought from runnings they're not very good uh, you really should be using the 4 x four ones that are rated to like 25,000 or something like that uh, they should run you about 25 bucks a piece uh, that's what these ones ran, even though they're not very good. And here's where I'm snatched up to. Uh, I got three logs tied into this uh, setup right now. Each of them is uh, 12, 24, 36 feet long. So I got three 36 foot logs I'm going to try to pull in one go. Uh, I guarantee that's not an option when you just do direct. So uh, chain chain and chain all put up uh, together so it's gonna pull it right towards that tree hopefully uh, as long as we don't get hung up on anything I'm gonna try to drag it through this mess of tops uh, and see what happens um, I'm not like I said I'm not sure if it's gonna work just because this is a like the absolute max that you can run on uh, this setup uh, maybe if I had a bigger truck or something it might pull more we'll see uh, I'm using two 50 foot cables I got them clevis together I got my one that's the one right here that's pointed or painted red that's going to be my anchor anchor line and the one that's not painted is my go line so that's the one I'm pulling on uh, I'm going to set you up here I got this super cool uh, camera mount so I'll stop it real quick and then um, get it set up so that you got a good view and then uh, we'll let it roll and see what happens. Like I was only part of the way successful. I'm not sure what happened with that other chain. I'll have to look at the video and see. But you can uh, you can see that. Uh, hold on. I don't know if you could hear the the engine on the truck when I was pulling, but I barely had to give it any gas, and I just pulled these two massive logs all the way through that mess. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing what I gotta do for the day and. Hopefully, uh, hopefully that was helpful for the anybody that's interested in trying to do a snatch block logging setup. Really, the only downside is uh, it takes quite a while uh, to set it up, just hooking up the pulleys and getting your your chains and everything right. So um, I'm just using a little Toyota truck to do that. So uh, it doesn't take much. You can pull a lot with snatch block stuff. So. That's it, I'll uh, let you go there and see you on the next video.